Hello, and welcome to this lightning talk about a component registry for Q4 pipelines. My name is Christian Kadner, and I work for the IBM Center for Open Source Data and AI Technologies. In this session, I will um, briefly talk about the stages of the AI lifecycle, um, introduce Q4 pipelines, and some of the reusability challenges with pipeline components. I'll introduce the new component registry and show the machine learning exchange. And if there's some time, also show Watson Studio pipelines. Now for the stages of the AI lifecycle, we're really talking about data sets and models. Um, in short, we're using data to build models and those models are used to automate decisions. Each of these individual stages has multiple steps. Um, and these individual steps are often performed by teams of data scientists, um, data engineers, MLOps engineers. Um, and so that is part of the challenge, which all of these, with all of these steps, um, the process um, often remains bifurcated amongst various teams. Um, there's lots of duplication and redundancy. Um, you know, similar data sets, similar models are being created. And there are numerous challenges for traceability, governance, um, and risk management. Um, so what's needed really um, beyond the pipeline engine is a central catalog where um, data scientists can share their AI and ML assets across organizational boundaries. And ideally those ready-made data sets and models, you know, they come with quality checks, proper licensing, um, lineage tracking, all to increase the speed and the efficiency of the AI lifecycle. Now I mentioned Q4 pipelines. Um, what are Q4 pipelines? The purpose of Q4 pipelines is um, to enable and simplify um, the end-to-end -end, um, orchestration of machine learning workflows. Um, Q4 pipelines makes it easy to um, quickly try out ideas and techniques, you know, to manage trial runs and experiments and um, the individual pipelines and components um, are fairly easy to reuse. Um, the platform itself um, has a workflow engine um, that is either Augur or Tecton. Um, the workflows are executed on um, the Kubernetes cluster. Um, on the user end, there is um, a UI, a web UI, where users can you know, manage their experiments, their jobs, their runs, and they can also connect um, directly via the Python SDK. Um, and that enables integrating integration with Jupyter Notebooks. Um, the individual steps of a pipeline um, are called components. And components are self-contained sets of code. Um, they perform one step in the pipeline, such as data processing and transformation or model training. And they're kind of like a function um, with name, parameters, return values, and a function body. Um, components are containerized and they run in Kubernetes pods. The component spec itself um, is a YAML file and that can be offered directly or it can be compiled from the Python DSL. And you know, a component has uh, metadata, um, an interface, the input output parameters, um, and an implementation, typically Python or shell scripts. Um, Q4 pipelines has been around for quite a while. And there are numerous components that have been contributed over the time by for various platforms, um, by various vendors, um, and for all the individual steps of um, a machine learning workflow. Um, there are components for um, training models, um, for model evaluation, um, components for you know uploading, downloading files to SAP storage, or MLOps type of tasks like um, sending Slack messages or SMS notifications. Um, with that rich ecosystem, um, there are a few problems. Um, they start with, with authoring and publishing components in the first place. There are multiple ways to publish or to create components. They can be authored via Python. The YAML can be um, specified directly. And in um, V2 of Q4 pipelines, there's also the intermediate representation. Um, between those multiple ways, there's no feature parity um, and no consistent way to um, publish and document um, those components. Hosting um, is currently GitHub. With all the components, there are um, they're part of the GitHub repository for Q4 pipelines, um, and there's no good indexing or searching. Um, components are not well versioned, um, and there's not many ways to categorize components. Maintenance is another issue. Um, oftentimes, components, once they contribute it, um, they're not well maintained for a long time. Now, this new component registry 
um, as proposed by the Q4 pipelines team, uh, aims to address some of those problems. Um, there are really um, two parts to it. There's the API that is being implemented uh, you know, on the client side by the Q4 pipelines SDK. And then there's the server side that can be implemented by third party registries. Um, you can follow up on, on the um, uh, design doc um, if you go to uh, Q4 pipelines issue 7382. Um, and find out more information about it. But um, in short, benefits will be that the YAML format will be um, unified between pipelines and components. Um, components or pipelines can be versioned and tagged, um, and there will be a direct integration in the Q4 pipelines SDK, so users can seamlessly download um, components from a third-party registry just by connecting to a host, um, searching for components, finding the versions, um, and then downloading components. Um, this slide is with some terminology, um, templates, um, versions, packages, tags, host, uh, most of them are uh, straightforward. Um, here are a few samples of what the REST API um, could look like to interact with a registry um, or what the um, Q4 Pipelines SDK methods, the newly introduced methods, um, could look like. Um, so the REST API shows how to upload a component in the first snippet. The second snippet is to um, download the Hello World component um, with version v1. And at the bottom left, you can see um, how it could look um, from the Q4 Pipelines SDK to load a component from a registry um, or to directly um, create a run from a component. Um, now, what might a component registry look like? Um, for example, the machine learning exchange, um, we're working on um, implementing that new Q4 pipelines um, registry protocol. Um, the machine learning exchange is a project between IBM and the Linux Foundation for AI and Data. And here you can see the UI. Um, we have various asset types of assets. We have um, pipelines. Um, you can search pipelines um, and, and see details. Um, you can see the um, YAML specification. Yeah, this is a still a v V1 YAML for Q4 pipelines on Tecton. Um, and you can even launch the pipeline directly from the MLX UI. After you specify the parameters here, um, many of them have defaults. You click Submit. And you will see the Q4 pipelines um, run graph um, with all the individual pipeline steps. And for each step, you can you know, look at the input-output parameters. Um, metadata, um, logs, everything that's available in the Q4 Pipelines UI. And we have a very similar experience for components, for models, data sets, and notebooks. And even notebooks can be run um, as part of pipelines. Oh, this is a list of the assets we currently have in the MLX catalog. Um, you can find MLX um, on ml-exchange.org. Um, and we're co constantly working on adding new, um, new models and data sets, um, but this is what we currently have. Um, you should also check out Watson Studio Pipelines, currently in open beta. Um, as you can see here, it comes with a canvas and you can drag um, pipeline um, components from, from, the, from uh, the component catalog and then run your um, experiments. And it integrates notebooks, um, you can run your auto AI experiments, and it makes you know scheduling jobs very easy. Before I leave off, um, this is a list of links and references. Um, Q4 Pipelines issue 7382 um, has links to the um, design spec for the template registry API and SDK machine learning exchange. You can find us at ml-exchange.org um, or on our GitHub repo and on Slack. Oh, before I leave off, um, stop by the Code Cafe or the IBM booth, um, we have a book signing by Emily Yang, and you can take the Open Liberty um, Space Rover for spin. With that, thank you, and see you next time.